Do you know if you are truly identifying the risk of injury to your workers and how that risk can be quantified? The following information can help you understand if your ergonomics program is ready for the next step in ergonomic assessments. The traditional method of ergonomic assessments requires an experienced specialist or ergonomist who understands the capabilities of the human body and the nature of the work being completed. With the knowledge of which posture is most strenuous, a biomechanical assessment can be completed which represents a singular point in time. This biomechanical assessment can take many different forms, a few of which include the NIOSH lifting equation or a software with a digital human model. If already working with a digital human model, most often a simulation can be created of the job that is being analyzed. The use of a simulation to assess a job allows for many benefits, one of which is an objective assessment which will point out the most strenuous posture to the operator. In addition to determining the key points of the job, the ergonomist is also able to analyze the effects of cumulative loading or work. For a while now, this has been a known gap in the ergonomist toolbox and has been extremely difficult to quantify. Once generated, most simulations can be updated or edited to compare and contrast changes in a workstation to showcase reduction in risk and ROI on interventions. The use of a simulation can also be paired with other ergonomic assessment techniques, including metabolic output and segment EMG, just to name a couple. As well, the use of motion capture can be used to help develop these simulations, significantly reducing the time and subjectivity required to create an accurate simulation. If you are looking to take your ergonomic program to the next level and any of the information listed in this video is of interest to you and your stakeholders, please reach out to Sandalwood Engineering and Ergonomics for more information. Thank you. Work smarter, work safer.